is Dr. Sally Lopez, and I would like to welcome you to our virtual senior award ceremony. We are all very proud of our seniors and all that they've accomplished during this challenging year. We're also very fortunate to have so many community organizations that are continuing to support our students with scholarships. During this virtual ceremony, our students will also be receiving departmental awards for being top scholars in specific areas. I'd like to thank you for tuning in and I hope that you enjoy the show. On behalf of the Board of Education, it is my pleasure to welcome parents and distinguished guests, administrators and faculty, and of course our seniors, the class of 2021. Senior award ceremonies are always my favorite ceremonies uh, as we recognize uh, our top seniors uh, just before they graduate from Northern Burlington. Uh, Dr. Lopez, administrators and faculty, thank you for another exceptional school year. It certainly will be one we remember uh, for a lifetime. I'd also like to recognize our active and retired military and our first responders and thank them for giving so much to so many. For me, this evening has always been one of the highlights of the year. It's a pleasure to honor so many of our talented and dedicated students. I'm very proud of our senior class and how all pre persevered this school year. Once again, we faced many challenges together and we are a stronger community as a result. I'm appreciative of having the opportunity to have even just a small part to play in your high school experience. During these ceremonies, we celebrate what is good about our young adults. We need to do this more often. Over the years, I've learned that there are three types of people, those who make things happen, those who watch things happen, and those who say, what happened? The seniors being recognized during these ceremonies are the ones who make things happen. You have learned that the individuals who get ahead are the ones who do more than is necessary and keep on doing it. Seniors, you have my best wishes. Good luck and enjoy your evening. As we recognize seniors during this event for their grades and accomplishments relative to our district standards, we also have an opportunity to acknowledge the significant accomplishments of one student relative to national standards. I am proud to honor Daniel Vale for a perfect score on the math portion of the SAT. Congratulations, Daniel. Hello, I'm Mr. Alvarez. I'm from the Tommy B. McGuire Foundation. I'm here to present the Tommy B. McGuire Foundation Scholarship for 2021. It is always presented to a military dependent that can be counted on and shows the promise of a bright future. Uh, this student has a strong sense of self and understands the importance of service to others. We are proud to offer the 2021 scholarship to Mason Wiederholt. Congratulations, Mason, and good luck in all of your future endeavors. Hello, my name is Daniel Wolverton. And it's always a privilege for me to return to my alma mater to present at Northern Senior Awards Night. On behalf of the Crossex Community Association, it is my honor to present the 2021 Crossex Community Association Citizenship Award to Samara Kalra. Congratulations and best of luck to the entire class of 2021. Hi, I'm Brandi Fennell, Vice President of the Joseph M. Fennell Memorial Foundation, named in honor of my late brother Joseph, who was a former student at Northern Burlington County High School. We started this organization six years ago after Joseph passed away in order to help young people who have demonstrated an interest in the performing arts reach their full potential. The scholarship was created approximately two years ago and we are very excited to award our second recipient, Isabel Connor. Congratulations, Isabel, and best of luck. Hi, I'm Melissa Chow, one of the teachers at Chesterfield Elementary School and a member of the CTEA, the Chesterfield Township Education Association. Every year, the CTEA awards a scholarship to a former Chesterfield student 
who is a senior at Northern Burlington High School. The applicants write an essay and the members of the CTEA vote on the best essay, their favorite one. This year, we are pleased to award the 2021 scholarship to Smira Kalma. Congratulations, and we wish you all the best in the future. Hi, I'm Kathy Miller, president of the North Hanover Education Association. It is my honor to present two scholarships, each for $500, to two well-deserving graduating seniors. I'm especially proud to give this award to students who I've been able to see grow into successful young adults. Congratulations to Matthew Klusman and Emily Walsh. Northern Burlington County Regional High School, Class of 2021. You are awesome. Thank you for inviting me to attend this scholarship awards ceremony, ceremony today. My name is Nancy Morrow and I am representing the North Hanover Township Senior Citizens Club. Our members believe in the benefits of higher education and are pleased to be able to assist a deserving student in making this possible. This year has been an extremely difficult one for everyone, especially students. You have shown your strength, courage, and perseverance in working diligently to achieve your goals. You have met many challenges and you have succeeded. We would like to thank everyone, especially your parents and teachers, who have guided you and cheered you on. It is my pleasure and honor to present this year's North Hanover Senior Citizens Scholarship to Matthew Klusman. Congratulations and best wishes for much success in the future. Thank you. Congratulations, Alexandra. I'm so happy to award you the Claire and Robert Ross Memorial Scholarship. My parents were both educators. My mom taught first grade for over 20 years, and my dad was an elementary physical education teacher for 37 years. They both touched the lives of hundreds of students through their dedication and love of teaching. This scholarship honors their memory. From the entire Ross family, we wish you much success as you begin your next chapter. Congratulations. Hello, class of 2021. I'm Sandy Sikuler. And I'm Ashley Trano. And we are teachers from Springfield Township Elementary School. We are delighted to be here to celebrate the Northern Burlington class of 2021 and to present our Springfield Township Education Association scholarship to a member of Northern's graduating class, who was also a member of Springfield Township's sixth grade class of 2015. And I actually had the honor of having this student in my second grade class. And not only did she light up the room with her cheerful, vibrant smile every day, but she was also such a caring and compassionate friend to all of her friends. Throughout her years at Springfield, the student always displayed such hard work and dedication, and I am truly proud of her hard work and her efforts. I have so many special memories of this student and feel so honored to be a part of presenting this student with a special award today. So we are thrilled to present our scholarship to Madison Linton. Congratulations. Yay. Thank you so much for this opportunity to congratulate all of you and we wish you the best in the future. And remember, after a year of living with limitations, remember that the future is limitless. Thank you. Thank you. Congratulations, class of 2021. Hey, Northern Burlington. I'm Stephanie Bellanova with ERA Central Realty Group, and I am so excited that we have a winner from Northern Burlington this year for our EDGE scholarship. Uh, we at ERA Central Realty Group are more than just people who sell houses. We have families, we have kids in the school district. I personally have all of my kids in the district. Um, and we are so excited and proud to be part of our community. Uh, since 2005, we have awarded over $60,000 in scholarships uh, to high school seniors uh, that show the qualities that we celebrate, which is ethical, dedicated, genuine, and entrepreneurial. So I am super excited to award $800 this year to Maya Tanakawa of Northern Burlington. So congratulations, Maya, and congratulations, seniors. The North Hanover Schools 
PTO scholarship is awarded to Northern Burlington High School seniors who are planning to attend college and have also attended Stevie Lane Elementary School or Upper Elementary School. We are proud of our students and grateful to be able to help them. On behalf of the CB Lamb PTO and the UES PTO, we would like to congratulate the recipients of this year's North Hanover School District PTO Scholarship. The recipients are Amanda Von Francesco, Isabel Connor, Helen Fletcher, and Constantino Sharko. Good luck next year and in all your future endeavors. Congratulations. Good evening. First, I would like to hope you and your families are healthy and safe. Congratulations to Smara Kalra and Ian Kay for being the recipients of the two awards in memory of my grandparents. My father was a school teacher and farmer in India. In the 1960s, my father and uncle came to America from a small farming village in India. They had big dreams for their children and their families. They made sure my siblings and I had everything we needed to be focused and successful in our studies. Getting an education and going to school was always a priority for them. Their passion, dedication, and hard work always drove my siblings and I to work even harder. I was born and raised in Mansfield Township, and I also attended Northern Burlington High School where I graduated in 1997. I am honored to have the opportunity to celebrate you and what you have achieved. As you go off into the world and close this chapter of your life, always be true to yourself, who you are and what you stand for. Remain grounded and value your time. And don't take anything for granted, especially this planet. So congratulations class of 2021, and I wish you all the best, good luck and stay healthy. Hello, my name is David Taylor and I'm the Choral Director at Northern Burlington Regional High School. Uh, we are going to be announcing the winner of the Irv Pallets Scholarship for Vocal Performance. Irv sadly passed away in 2013. Uh, his wife Joan started a memorial scholarship for any student that is involved with the choral program uh, in uh, at the end of the year for a senior. Uh, this year's recipient is Laura Tavner. So congratulations, Laura. Laura, you've done a wonderful job for our program. We're going to miss you so much next year. and Thank you for all of your hard work for the past four years. Thank you. Hello. At this time, Ms. Samantha Crean and I will be presenting the Outside Organization Awards. Our first award is the Burlington County Association of School Business Officials Scholarship in the amount of $250, and that award goes to Avery Flynn. The next award is the Columbus Grange Number 58 Scholarship, in the amount of $1,000. The scholarship will be awarded to a student planning to further their education in agriculture. Congratulations, Emily Southland. The Chesterfield Public Education Fund for the Donna Van Veld Hughes Memorial Scholarship in the amount of $500 is awarded to two current Chesterfield Township residents who completed sixth grade at the Chesterfield Elementary School and are involved with com the community and they volunteer. The award goes to Ryan Quinlan and Aslin Sethi. The next award is the Columbus Home and School Association Scholarship in the amount of $500. This scholarship is awarded to students who reside in Mansfield Township and have completed sixth grade at Mansfield Elementary School. They participate in community service activities and exhibit leadership qualities. Congratulations, Jordan Jackson and Daniel Vale. The FFA Alumni Scholarship Award in the amount of $250 is possible through donations from supporters and alumni of the FFA. This year, the award goes to Emily Sadlon. The Dr. Marion Tallon Environmental Education Scholarship in the amount of $300 is awarded to a student planning to study the environmental sciences. Congratulations, Matthew Wolverton. 
The Parker Farms Memorial Scholarship in the amount of $500 was started in memory of the Parker family in 2001 and is managed by the Jacobstown Volunteer Fire Company. This award goes to Nicholas Brewer. The Four Seasons Mapleton Civic Association Scholarship in the amount of $500 is awarded to Avery Flynn. The Patricia Wendler Scholarship in the amount of $2,500 is awarded to a graduate of Springfield Township Elementary School that plans on pursuing a career in education. This award goes to Capri Hewitt. The Jacobstown Fire Company Auxiliary Award in the amount of $500 is awarded to a resident of North Hanover that is involved in service to the community. Congratulations, Sean Zavacki. The Heroes of October 12, 2001 is a scholarship awarded to a student who is the child of a police officer, firefighter, or EMT, or a student directly involved in these types of community service. The fall of 2001 was a very turbulent time in the United States, especially so in central New Jersey. The tragic events of September 11th were fresh on our minds. And one week later, anthrax-laced letters were found in the U.S. postal system, some of which were mailed in nearby Robbinsville, New Jersey. On October 12, 2001, a reserve military policeman from Fort Dix went on a rampage. He shot two fellow MPs and sped off in a Department of Defense police car. Once off base, he shot a Chesterfield Township police officer in the back and cam commandeered his patrol car. The crazed man then led local and state police on a high-speed chase down Route 206, ending at Columbus Farmers Market in Springfield Township, where he took a hostage. The MP was surrounded by police, and fortunately, the hostage broke free. In the ensuing shootout, a Mansfield Township police officer was seriously wounded, and the perpetrator was shot to death. The incident involved emergency personnel from nearly every Northern Burlington sending district. We don't have to look far for our heroes. They're right here in our own communities. And the Heroes of October 12, 2001 scholarship is dedicated to those brave officers, firefighters, and emergency medical technicians who race towards danger with the rest when the rest of us would run the other way. Pinelands Nursery is pleased to award this scholarship of $1,000 to Ashley Walsh. The William Authority of Chesterfield Post Company awards, the, awards $500 to Mackenzie Scott. Smiley's Ice Cream Shop in memory of David W. Hudson is awarding a scholarship of $200 to students pursuing a career in small business. And the students receiving this award are Brady, Willie, and Jillian Leake. The Mansfield Township Education Association Award in the amount of $500 is awarded to students attended both John Hydock Elementary School and Mansfield Township Elementary School and are pursuing a career in education. Congratulations, Nina Campbell and Emily Southland. The Springfield Township Fire Company Ladies Auxiliary is awarding a scholarship in the amount of $1,000 to a resident of Springfield who attended Springfield Township Elementary School. And this award goes to Alyssa Guevara. The Mansfield Township Recreation Scholarship in the amount of $200 is awarded to a resident of Mansfield Township and has participated in a recreation sport for three consecutive years. Congratulations, Frank Adrico and Laura Tadner. The Springfield Township Home and School Association scholarship in the amount of $1,000 is awarded to two students who completed sixth grade at the Springfield Township Elementary School and possess leadership skills, good sportsmanship, and academic achievement. Our two award winners are Ryan Dromboski and Sarah Cruzen. The Michael D. Burns Memorial Scholarship, class of 1992, in the amount of $700, is awarded to Derek Allen. This scholarship will be awarded annually through donations to the Michael D. Burns Memorial Fund. Michael, a warm and generous person, was a member of the class of 1992, and his family hopes this award will perpetuate his memory. 
The Sonny Ronald Scholarship in memory of Ronald Andrew Hogus Class of 2022 scholarship in the amount of $300 is awarded to Casey Monahan. The Robert Coleman's Memorial Scholarship in the amount of $250 is awarded to Chad Clark. This award is going to a graduating senior who has demonstrated a desire to pursue a career in auto mechanics or a similar field, is compassionate and willing to help others, and exudes Bob's best qualities of kindness, creativity, and resourcefulness. Timothy Greco was a happy young man taken from us too soon. Tim enjoyed many hours at the com computer at home and school. His gentle nature and patience were never more evident as when he was helping us to understand the computer. He loved to share his knowledge with family and friends and took great pleasure in computer games. He looked forward to college and the opportunities that would have followed. In Tim Greco's memory, we hope that this $2,500 Memorial Scholarship will help a graduating senior pursuing the computer science field realize their goals. This award goes to Joseph Fig. The RCBC Academic Excellence Scholarship awards full tuition to Nicole Leader. This Academic Excellence Scholarship will cover the cost of tuition and fees for the 2021-2022 academic year. The Timothy Greco Memorial Scholarship in the amount of $2,500 is for a senior who is active in school, involved in multiple activities or events, and is a resident of Mansfield. This award goes to Daniel Vale. The Burlington County Association of School Administrators awards $250 to Daniel Vale. The Bordentown Rotary Scholarships in the amount of $1,000 each are awarded to Ashlyn Sethi and Daniel Vale. The American Legion Post 26 Leadership and Citizenship Scholarship of $500 each go to Christian Leonelli and Samara Kalka. The Northern Burlington Junior Greyhound Athletic Association Scholarship in the amount of $500 is awarded to Matthew Klusman. Thank you. The Save Hash Scholarship was created several years ago by a group of Northern teachers when Northern lost a much loved and respected colleague, Joseph Sakehash. Today, the faculty, administration, and staff continue to contribute to the Sakehash Scholarship Fund to memorialize all the Northern Burlington teachers who have passed away. Students do not apply for this scholarship. The faculty, administration, and staff nominate them. These nominations are based on the student's work ethic, attendance record, record of achievement, and potential for growth. This year, we are pleased to award four $1,000 scholarships to the class of 2021. The students receiving these scholarships are, in alphabetical order, Avery Flynn, Alyssa Gavera, Leanna Mellon, and Maya Tanakawa Brown. Congratulations. One looks back with appreciation to the brilliant teachers, but with gratitude to those who touched our human feelings. The curriculum is so much necessary raw material, but warmth is the vital element for the growing plant and for the soul of a child. Carl Yoon. Jane Humble was that inspirational teacher who understood that she needed to care for her students as human beings in order to open their minds to learning. Jane strove to bring out the best in all of her students. She applauded those who excelled and cheered on those who struggled and enabled them to succeed. Jane's influence extended beyond the classroom. She supervised student clubs, attended school sports activities, and joined school and community committees in her roles as teacher, parent, and community member. Jane touched many lives with her kindness, support, enthusiasm, and wisdom. Her big heart and contagious laughter brought smiles to her students and colleagues. She was a role model and mentor. Through the years, she fostered many relationships and kept connections long after students graduated. The Jane Humble Memorial Scholarship honors a student who strives to treat others with kindness, respect, and sincerity. It honors a student who works hard to be successful, inspires others to be their best, and contributes to their school and community. This year's recipient of the Jane Humble Memorial Scholarship is Kenneth Hoppe. Congratulations. Hi, Northern Burlington seniors. My name is Jennifer Quinlan, and I'm the Northern Burlington Band Booster President. 
Our organization helps support all of the band programs in grades 7 through 12 and also the Winter Guard program. Each year, our organization is able to sponsor four graduates with $500 scholarships. This year, our awards go to Teresa Lebitsky, Tina McFadden, Maya Tanikiwa Brown, and Alyssa Guevara. I am so excited for all four of you. You've been such dedicated members in the band programs and we will all miss you a great deal. Best wishes in college and see you soon. Good evening, everyone. My name is Myra Mohena, and I am the president of the PTSC, Parent Teacher Student Connection. And we will be awarding a number of scholarships this evening. I would like to congratulate all our recipients, and now I'm going to announce all the winners. Taylor Morris, David Reed, Nicholas Peters, Isha Srivastava, Braden Utke, Ethan Weiss, Ryan Drumboski, Sean Zavaki, Sarah Krusen, Kellen Fletcher, Avery Flynn, Maisie Masakas, Alessandra Armour, and Brady Willie. I would like to congratulate these recipients as well as all our 2021 graduating seniors. Have a great evening and thank you and good night. My name is Justin Faust and I'm proud to present the award winners for the Sam Smith Bill Scholarship given by the Northern Burlington Soccer Program. All of these award winners displayed the same qualities that Sam possessed himself, such as integrity and courage. The award winners are Avery Flynn, Brady Willie, Nick Fleming, Max Murray, Justin Kreidler, Joey Fagg, Robbie Cocatalo, Brian Bressler, and Braden Yudke. Good luck to all these award winners, and thank you for all the effort and years you've put in to the Northern Burlington Soccer Program. Hello, I'm Mr. Linder, and I'm here on behalf of the High School Music Department to present the Stuart Davis Music Scholarship to Kara McFadden. As a member of the Wind Ensemble, the Marching Band, the Musical Pit Orchestra, and the Triumph Music Honor Society, it is evident that Kara truly appreciates and loves having music as part of her life. Congratulations, Kara. As the advisor of the National Honor Society, it is also my privilege and honor to announce several scholarship awards that are being given out this year. First of all, awards that come directly from the National Honor Society, which are given to members who have accumulated the most service hours over the past two years of their membership. First, we have a $500 award, which is being given to Ashlyn Sethi. Next, we have two $250 awards, which are being given to Anusha Assad and Jesse Hu. We also have $100 awards, which are being given to Peter Amari, Ryan Drumboski, Kellen Fletcher, Amanda Murray, Braden Yuki, Sahana Paswanathan, and Sia Yada. And also the NHS sponsors the Kelly Ann Maxwell Award. This award is given annually to a student who has had to overcome personal obstacles to achieve academic success. Each person who applies to it has to write a short paragraph explaining what their hardship was and what they did to overcome it and become a good student. This year, it's my honor to announce that the winner of the Kellyanne Maxwell Award is Kara McFadden. Congratulations to everyone and to all seniors. I wish the best of luck in your future. Hi, I'm Dave Johnson, president of the Northern Burlington County Regional Teachers Association. Every year, the NBCRTA presents a scholarship award to an aspiring teacher from Northern Burlington senior class. This year, the Desire Inspired Scholarship is awarded to Amanda Murray. Amanda is the historian this year for NHS and cited the advisor, Mr. Jeff Newman, as one of her inspirations in her journey to becoming a teacher. In her essay, she cited Mr. Newman as being welcoming both in and out of the classroom. 
as well as his use of humor to engage the entire class in a lesson. Amanda also noted Mrs. Heather Duff as helping to inspire her desire through her work in child development class. All of your teachers are proud of what you have and will accomplish, Amanda, and look forward to hearing about how you have impacted students' lives in just a few short years. Congratulations, and don't forget, we're here to help if you need it. In its fourth year in the district, NB's Air Force Junior Reserve Officer Training Corps has been recognized nationally as a distinguished unit with merit. I am proud to introduce our senior aerospace science instructor, Captain Sean Hoggs, to present the department award. Thank you, Dr. Stella. It is with great pleasure that I recognize Cadet David Reed as my NB senior award recipient. Since his freshman year in the newly minted NB FGROTC program, Dave has been an integral component to his many successes. Moreover, Dave is a caring and dedicated student who always chooses to lead from the front, never shying away from a challenge and or responsibility, from becoming the backbone of the Northern Burlington AFJROTC drill, color guard, and flag detail teams, to leading the unit in total community service hours, to ultimately becoming its core commander and helping it to become a distinguished unit with merit in only its second year, the MB AFJROTC program will forever be in his debt. Of note, Dave was a very mature and warm-hearted student leader who was always prepared and ready to learn in class. A testament to his unselfishness, he takes it upon himself to offer up support to his peers and the underclassmen in a gentle and understanding way. Each morning, Dave makes it a point to say hello to as many cadets as possible, to include us as instructors, and brings a positive attitude to the program each and every day. In fact, I don't think I've ever seen a time when he was upbeat, when he wasn't upbeat. There's no doubt that Dave will continue to do great things as he moves on to Embry-Riddle University. As I always say today, remember me when you're famous. You will be missed, young man. Thank you, and I see you, Dave. Take care. Hello, seniors and family and friends of seniors. I'm Mr. Matthew Conowitz, Director of Instruction for the AgriScience, Applied Technology Engineering, Business, Family Consumer Science, music, theater, and the arts. I wanna congratulate you on making it through this year. And I wanna congratulate you on the past several years of your academic success. Tonight, my teachers are here to pay special tribute to your accomplishments individually in their speeches. And I wanna wish you much future success. I am now joined by Ms. Susan Stan to present an AgriScience Scholar Award. This year, the AgriScience Department gives our senior award to Emily Sadlon. There aren't many students that I am able to say that have been with me since day one. When I started teaching at Northern, Emily was in my first Ag Power class as a ninth grader. In those early days, she was the quiet one in class. Through the years, Emily has found her voice and become a leader in both the Ag Department and FFA. She has always had a strong determination to achieve whatever she wants. I have been able to see her grow as her coach for many different CDE teams. She has taken the lead to train for the fruits and vegetables CDE for the three years that I have coached it. I've also been able to help her succeed in both dairy cattle evaluation and livestock judging, where this year she earned her second team win and first place individually for the state. She has always been there for me, being my right hand person during CDE practice, and I have tried to help her through some of her more challenging times as well when competitions didn't always go the way she had planned. This past year, Emily has served as our FFA chapter president, going above and beyond in the virtual setting to make sure that our chapter has had a successful year. She has always been determined to make the most of this year and hasn't let anything stand in her way. We are truly fortunate that she has decided to pursue a career in agricultural education by attending Delaware Valley University in the fall. I hope that we can continue to see her grow in her professional career, just like we've seen her grow through our program. Congratulations, Emily, and good luck in your future. You got this. Joining me now is Mr. Dave Johnson to present the Applied Technology Engineering Scholars Award. The 12th grade department award 
in Applied Tech Engineering is presented to Isabella Bartolini. The first assignment that students get in my design class is to tell me a little about themselves. This year, that was critical. A few students really took the assignment and ran with it. One of them was Isabella. Throughout the year, whether it was learning and activities that were done remotely or in person, Isabella has showcased her passion for design in my industrial design and architecture course. Lately, we have been designing homes and she has gone above and beyond designing a home built from shipping containers that was completed way before the due date. She's now learning new software independently to improve her skills and maximize the methods she can use to share her creative spirit. I know you will do well in the future. Congratulations. Joining me now is Mr. Dave Potts to announce the Applied Technology Material Scholars Award. One of the greatest skills to master is people skills. And our selected candidate has truly honed and sharpened his people skills. Matt Klusman is generally not just the first student to enter a room, but he is always the first one to ask a teacher, how was your day going? Or how was your weekend? Matt exudes both confidence and empathy as he strives to make a personal connection with both his peers and with the classroom teacher. It is this form of personal association that helps to bond the whole class together for a session and helps to create that perfect environment for real learning. Matt also has a mastery of many hands-on skills as well. In addition to his accomplishments in the woodworking, graphic design, engineering, and tech capstone courses here at Northern Burlington, Matt also devotes a certain portion of his free time to work at his own shop at home whether it's building his school projects or refinishing his grandparents' dining room table, Matt is not only confident enough to tackle such tasks, but he is also comfortable enough to ask for help or advice along the way. As a designer, as a creator, and as a builder, knowing when, where, and who to seek additional help from is directly tied again to that most important skill, the people skill. Congratulations, Matt Kluge. And now to present the Art Scholar Award, Ms. Taryn McGee. Good evening. The 12th grade Senior Award in Art is presented to Isabel Connor. Working in the art room seems to be natural for Isabel. As soon as she enters the room, the class smiles. She takes out her sketchbook and gets right to work without a minute to waste. Each day, I couldn't wait to see what new drawings she completed at home with her brand new set of Prismacolors this year. Her style is so unique and original. I watched her artistic voice develop into a surreal yet expressive modern twist this year. Her creative spirit is obvious and her work reflects her love for the process. She's one of those students you can't wait to see and inspires others around her to do their very best. She demonstrates strong creative abilities and welcomes any challenge. I was most impressed with her determination and ability to come up with creative solutions to all my assignments throughout this difficult, ever-changing year. She stayed positive, and as a result, this year her mixed media surrealism work has, had, has been her biggest accomplishment yet. I'm so proud of Isabel for receiving this award. I expect great things from her in the future, and I wish her the best of luck. Most of all, I will miss all of our conversations we had in the art room but I will be excited to see the artwork she will design in college. Even though she will be terribly missed, it is my honor to present her with this award. Congratulations, Isabel. I am now joined by Ms. Kim Ballinger to present the Business Scholar Award. This year's 12th grade Business Award goes to Costa Charco. Costa has developed his business skills throughout his years at Northern, starting in eighth grade, and it shows. His work is often discussed by his teachers because it truly stands out. He is a one-of-a-kind student that has shown growth and exceeded many expectations for each course that he was in. Business courses include critical thinking and application and require a true understanding of many different course subjects, such as English, math, and history. They require students to study, understand, apply, and explain. Costa did just that in every course he took. From personal economics to accounting and entrepreneurship, he was dedicated to learning and applying. His ability to reflect on his critiqued work in such a way to understand the concepts further shows his development of not only just a student, but of a true business professional. 
Costa has exhibited characteristics beyond any student, high school student. His hard work has and will continue to pay off as he begins his educational journey outside of Northern. Costa, remember the soft skills we taught, recall the concepts you have learned, and expand on them as you grow in your education. But most importantly, just do your best. This next step is not about perfection. It is simply about more growth. There is no doubt that you will do amazing things. On behalf of the business department, it is my pleasure to present to you the 12th grade Business Scholar Award. At this time, I would like to introduce Ms. Diana Lee, who will present the 12th grade Chinese Language Award. It has been a great pleasure having you in my class in my first year teaching in Northern. During the three years time in Chinese class, you have demonstrated great growth as a student and as a person. But the most amazing thing to me is your humble attitude and the passion to Chinese language study are always there. This year, no matter how difficult the learning environment is, you have been working hard and sticking on the learning path attentively. When you work on Chinese presentations, both speaking and writing, you challenge yourself and strive to do the best. Using varied complex structures along with rich cultural scenarios. On top of all achievements you are making in the class, you are patient and helpful when you work with your classmates. Your engagement makes our tiny class shine with fun. Now, with great honor and pleasure, Guangfa, I present the Senior Chinese Scholar Award to you, okay, Johnny Lee, uh, to re rec recognize your amazing achievement in Chinese language study. And I would like to take this opportunity to thank you for what you have brought to our class. Diligence, motivation, dedication, and passion to AP Chinese. I will miss you greatly, Guangfa. I'm confident that you will continue to succeed in whatever you do. Joining me now is Mr. Dave Taylor, director of the Coral Program, to provide his Scholar Award winner. This year's recipient of the 12th grade Coral Award is Catherine Preisig. Catherine is a four-year Coral student that has given much to our of, of all of our programs. Her list of achievements include Chamber Choir, The Chorale, five-year member of the All-South Jersey Choir, two-year member of the New Jersey All-State Choir, and an amazing section leader since her freshman year. I've had many students in my 29-year career as a music teacher with many different talents. I can say that I've never had one quite like Catherine. Uh, the nice kid factor is off the charts. She is the most courteous, generous, and thoughtful student that I've ever had. Catherine is always the first one to help out on a field trip, loading and unloading equipment, the first one to help clean up after a show or rehearsal, and always the first student to thank you and make sure that you are doing okay. Teaching in a hybrid situation was so hard on so many teachers this year. Fortunately, I had Ms. Prizig, Catherine, as a silk student to help out with warm-ups and running rehearsals when we came back in person. Great job as a silk student. Uh, the, the students in the chamber choir really loved having you as their silk student all year. Whatever you do in life, I know that you will do it with your full compassion and love towards the task at hand. You are an accomplished musician and a perfect role, role model for all of our students. We will miss you. Thank you and God bless you in your future endeavors. I would like to introduce Mr. Carlos Babel to present the 2021 Senior Award for Computer Science. Just do it. If Fabi were a commercial brand in need of a slogan, that would be a fitting motto. From what I've been able to observe, Avi's education at Northern has been motivated by a similar principle. I learn best by doing. If teachers did not take attendance every time a class meets, one might never notice Avi sitting quietly, constantly working on projects. There's a meme out there about computer science where a programmer interviews for a position with a company. The interviewer, clearly sitting in a position of power, leans forward from her desk and tells the interviewee, that she'll hire him if they can define what deadlock is, to which the interviewee blithely responds, hire me first and I'll tell you what deadlock means. In a similar way, Avi is not likely going to brag to anyone about how much he knows, but if anyone ever did ask him, 
they would be impressed by just how much he's learned. Hello, I'm now joined by Mr. Mick Chorba, who will introduce the Senior Award recipient for English 12. It is with great pleasure that I present the Senior Award for English to Isabel Connor. In honoring Isabel for her considerable talent and dedication, I'd like to share her attributes in a countdown list. Here we go. Number five, Isabel participates in class, sharing wisdom beyond her years. She comes up with phrases like, and I quote, the true tragedy in Kafka's The Metamorphosis is not that Gregor has turned into a bug, but that he and his father's miscommunication is rooted in the fact that they both assume the worst intentions in the other. Wow. Number four, for a poetry analysis project, Isabel asked to research her favorite poet. The fact that she has a favorite poet is part of the proof that she deserves this recognition. Number three, Isabel has stayed after class to discuss the importance of reading and specifically English in promoting empathy. She's an avid reader and a talented and expressive writer. Number two, Isabel is a baseball fan. She argues with classmates about players and teams. Sadly, she's a Dodgers fan. I will never understand that and excuse her for this one mistake. Number one, most importantly, Isabel is kind and supportive. She listens when we need a listener and speaks when we need words, bringing out the best in her peers and teachers alike. I am proud to honor Isabel Connor with the 2021 Senior Award for English. Hi, I'm Chris Catiline, Director of Instruction for Health and Physical Education. At this time, I'd like to introduce Mr. John Barbadoro to present the 12th grade Health and Physical Education Award. Hello, as Mr. Catiline mentioned, my name is John Barbadoro, and I am honored to present this year's Northern Burlington Physical Education Award. I would first like to take a moment to thank the Northern Burlington administration and staff for organizing this prestigious ceremony, which highlights the tireless efforts given by some of our best and brightest students. This past year has certainly been a unique learning experience for both faculty and students. A typical academic year for health physical education would see students immersed in learning activities which promoted the growth and development of students in all seven dimensions of wellness. Although this year certainly presented its obstacles, this student was able to navigate them all with grace, exemplifying the qualities that the department looks for when choosing its recipient. The health and physical education department seeks out individuals who put forth his or her best effort every day, are consistently prepared for class, demonstrate positive leadership skills, and are a role model for others. As previously mentioned, despite the fact this is was a typical year, this student managed to exemplify all these qualities. They were routinely in attendance for class, excelled academically, communicated effectively when needed, and always interacted with her peers and teacher in a positive manner. It is for all of these reasons that it is my pleasure to present this year's Senior Health and Physical Education Award to Kara McFadden. Thank you for such a wonderful year, and we look forward to your bright future ahead. Thank you to all of those who made tonight possible, and once again, congratulations to Kara and all the other award recipients. Now I'm joined by Mr. Sean Lindner to present the Music Scholars Award. This year's recipient of the Instrumental Music Award has played an integral part of almost every aspect of the instrumental music department at Northern Burlington. During the school day, she was a clarinet player and wind ensemble. After school, she was a drum major for marching band and the Music Honor Society president. I have known the student for the past four years and honestly could not think of a more deserving person for this award. She has truly left her mark on the instrumental music program and will be missed next year. This year's recipient of the Instrumental Music Senior Award is Teresa Lubitsky. The 2021 National Honor Society Leadership Award goes to Ryan Drombosky. Last summer, I truly did not know what to expect this school year with NHS due to the ongoing pandemic that we've all been experiencing. Would activities keep moving as they had in previous years or would things grind to an alarming halt? I realized that I would need a strong leader at the helm of NHS to make everything steer correctly. And thankfully, Ryan accepted that challenge and succeeded remarkably. A true leader is someone who guides and instructs others. A true leader cares deeply about the direction of an organization. And this absolutely describes Ryan to a T. Ryan has been a fantastic president of the National Honor Society. He has led with conviction and by example. He has supported all endeavors that NHS has undertaken. 
and he stuck up for the members who needed it, but he also has not shied away from reprimanding those who weren't participating fully. Not only does he inspire the members of NHS to do their best, but he's inspired me to try to do my finest as well. And that's what leadership is all about. I am absolutely, truly going to miss Ryan's contagious personality and his enormous smile. Congratulations, Ryan Drumboski, this year's recipient of the National Honor Society Leadership Medal. I am pleased to now invite Mr. Matt Dodd, Mr. Gene Graff, and Mr. Jeff Newman to present the 2021 Senior Mathematics Award. This year's Senior Math Award goes to David Reed. David is deserving of this award for so many reasons, not the least of which are his outstanding averages in AP Calculus A, B, and B, C, as well as AP Statistics. David has an inquisitive nature, which is never quite satisfied. He always wants to know more about topics than just what's being represented at the current moment. His participation in mathematical conversations is almost unparalleled in someone his age. He's the kind of student that math teachers dream of having in their classrooms. David, congratulations. Teaching students in high achieving courses, it is common to come across young individuals who consistently score high on exams and perform extremely well otherwise. To set yourself apart among so many individuals worthy of praise, there must be something else, something intangible. The intangible you bring to a math class is your excitement to learn something new every single day. Also, the questions you regularly ask, especially those that I didn't always have an answer for right away because they, they weren't surplus level questions. They dug deeper. The way you could make sense of difficult material and articulate your thought process was something truly fun to observe. I am both lucky and proud to have been a part of your journey so far, and I can't wait to see the great things that you're up to next. Congratulations, David. Having David in class for two years has been an absolute delight. Uh, it's safe to say that I've learned as much from him as he's learned from me, probably more. Simply put, David, he's exceptional. Uh, his ability to connect with ideas at, at a deep level is just uncanny. Uh, as he encounters material for the first time, he asks questions that speak to his tenacious curiosity, his driving need to know how things work. I don't always know the right answers, but as I said, I continue to learn from him. This guy is truly the limit for you, David. I know you'll go to great places. Please join me in welcoming Ms. Vicki Paroli to present the 2021 Senior Biological Science Award. It is my pleasure to present the Biological Science Senior Award to Ian Kay. I have had the distinct honor of watching Ian grow from an outstanding freshman honors biology student to an equally accomplished AP biology and honors human anatomy and physiology star. Ever since Ian was in ninth grade, I looked forward to the opportunity to teach him again in an upper level course. Gratefully, even during this especially challenging year, Ian did not disappoint. Ian is a student of a lifetime, which makes the circumstances of this year thoroughly upsetting. We only had a few short months together in person. Thankfully, Ian found a way to reach out to both me and Mrs. Rapazzi uh, and have personal conversations, a wonderful reminder of why we do what we do. Ian's understanding of biological concepts goes above and beyond the expectations for a high school student. He constantly pushes him, himself to be the very best and to truly understand, not just to get the best grades in the class. Ian's passion for biology and also for the human body, along with his kindness and compassion, are going to be wonderful assets for him as he goes on to pursue a career in medicine one day. We know Ian is going to be a superstar in and out of the classroom. Ian's wit, charm, intellect, and sparkling personality will be greatly missed. Mrs. Rapazzi and I wish you only the very best. Congratulations, Ian. To present the Senior Award for Physical Science, please join me in welcoming Dr. Fang Shu. Hi. Um, hi, everyone. Um, I'm Dr. Xu. Uh, it is my great pleasure to present this year's Northern Burlington County Regional High School's Senior Award in Physical Science to Mr. Daniel Will. As you all know that the school year is such a special year 
full of challenges. Within the challenge lie moments of agony and ecstasy, defeat or triumphant. For a course which used to have two double lab periods, five meeting times per week, the class time now became two times per week and no lab time at all. It is not hard to understand why 80% of students would like to withdraw from the class within the first two weeks of the school year. Yes, the course is AP Physics C, the calculus-based AP Physics. Daniel is one of the handful students for this class. Um, entering the school year, I would sense, I could sense that every student was under tremendous stress. Things used to be easy, now became a struggle, such as scheduling a SAT test, securing a SAT test, hoping it would not be canceled last minute. Performing a experiment without uh, physical items to touch and yet still need to make observation and write lab reports, deciding what colleges to apply without being able to visit schools. However, among all these adversities, one student stood out strong and calm, and that person is Mr. Daniel Veal. Due to the COVID-19, our class became virtual. In addition to dealing with difficult contents, both students and I had to deal with online associate troubles. And I could not tell how many times Dan offered the timely help to solve my unexpected technical issues during our virtual classes. He was also the sure bet for class participation, participation, uh, participation patience. When I felt like talking to a black hole of the universe, Dan's response was the light which would bring the students safely back to shore. Besides being helpful, Daniel is diligent about his classwork. He excels in the class contents. He seems to know everything. He also has very unique approaches to solve the physics problems. I remembered that at one time, I was stuck on one of example questions. Daniel pointed out where I'd make my mistakes so I could, so that I was able to carry out the class smoothly. As a teacher, I cannot ask more out of a student. Starting quarter four, Daniel came to my physical classroom I was able to meet Daniel in person. I was even more impressed by his attitude towards learning, his mature, maturity and humbleness. I know there are more qual qualities um, of him I have not reported due to lack of interactions. I'm sure he will, he will be a valuable contrib um, contributor to whatever he will be engaged in he will be engaging in. After graduation, Daniel will move on to Georgia Institute of Technology for in Engineering. Let's wish Daniel a great future. Congratulations, Dan. Joining me now is uh, Mrs. Maria Tomasetti, and she's going to introduce the Senior Award recipient for Social Studies. The social studies department is proud to present Jordan Jackson with this award. Throughout her years as a student at Northern Burlington, Jordan has impressed her teachers with her intellectual curiosity, reliability, and quality of work. Jordan is a student who's approached her schoolwork with care and passion. In class, Jordan consistently submits work that highlights her interest in the subject matter and professionalism. She is articulate, mature, and insightful in her historical analysis. The Social Studies Department is proud of her many accomplishments and grateful for her high caliber participation. Congratulations, Jordan. 
We appreciate you and know that you will continue to shine. At this time, I would like to present Dr. Carmen Dorado Austin, who will present the Senior Spanish Language Award. Tengo el orgullo de presentar este premio a la excelencia académica en el grado 12 por el Departamento de Español a Maya Tanikawa Brown. Maya, este premio es un homenaje no solo a tu rendimiento académico y dedicación a la lengua, literatura y culturas españolas, sino también a tu actitud de esfuerzo y compromiso con tu propio proceso formativo. El camino hacia la mejora individual es uno inconcluso y tú lo vas forjando a diario, asumiendo esta tarea de superación personal con una convicción y disciplina ejemplares. Has destacado por tu integridad, tu sentido de la responsabilidad y perseverancia, superando con valentía y tesón cualquier desafío. Prueba inequívoca de ello es la huella memorable que dejas tanto en AP Lengua y Cultura como en AP Literatura. Quiero además reconocer tu diligente disposición y esfuerzo como SILC en este curso tan singular. A pesar de los desafíos que las clases vía Zoom nos han presentado o por estos mismos, has demostrado nuevamente esa cualidad humana que te define y que te llevará sin duda a sobresalir en tus futuros compromisos y, avent y aventuras académicas y profesionales. Mahatma Gandhi dijo que el futuro depende de lo que hacemos en el presente. Maya, tienes por delante un futuro prometedor. Recibe mi más sincera enhorabuena. Um, I am proud to present this 12th grade scholars, uh, scholars Award uh, for Spanish to Maya Tanikawa Brown. Maya, this award is a tribute not only to your academic performance and your dedication to the Spanish language, literature, and cultures, but also to your work ethic and commitment to academic and personal growth. This, uh, the journey to individual perfection is an inconclusive one and you are forging it daily, undertaking these tasks of personal betterment with exemplary conv conviction and discipline. You have distinguished yourself by your integrity, sense of responsibility and grit, overcoming with courage and tenacity any obstacle. An equivocal proof of this is the memorable impression you leave both in Apple AP Spanish language and culture and at the AP literature. I want to recognize as well your diligent disposition and effort as myself in such a singular school year as this one. Uh, despite the challenges presented by our Zoom lessons uh, or because of them, you have proved once more that this that distinctive human quality that defines you and which will lead you to succeed in your future academic and professional endeavors. Mahatma Gandhi once said that the future depends on what you do today. Maya, you have a promising future ahead of you. Receive my sincerest congratulations. Good evening. My name is Edward Del Russo and I am the Student Council Advisor. I'm here tonight to present the Student Council Leadership Award. Student Council members are the leaders of our school, and no one represents this more than Sia Yadavid. Student Council is not an easy club to belong to. To become president, one must pass through an arduous process. As a new member, you begin learning. How is homecoming run? What are the food and gift drive? We run class elections? By junior year, you may be an officer or still learning how to be a leader. It's your senior year that you have a chance to really shine. When I think of my ideal student council leader, I think of Sia. Sia joined student council her junior year and immediately became an officer. Her dedication and commitment shined through from day one. She was reliable and showed tremendous leadership potential right away. 
I encouraged her to run for president, and I couldn't have been happier with the results. The last year and a half have been challenging, but we could always count on Sia. She took the lead in every event that we ran this year. From the food drive to class election, Sia was always there, helping us make this year the best it could be. Thank you, Sia, for being, the, for being a leader for us. We will truly miss you next year. Best of luck always. I am now joined by Mr. Jason Wiley, who will present the Theater Scholars Award. The Senior Theater Arts Award goes to Josh Dekovich. Five years ago, I began hearing about a kid who was quite literally my mini me. Mrs. Huckleberry could not stop raving about this fantastic student she had. Little did I know just how true that would be. When Joshua began high school, he hit the ground running. He joined fall play and NGDFL right away and began working hard. Josh showed an early passion, not only for acting, but for design. He is now assistant costume design about five productions here at Northern Burlington, oftentimes while also serving as a lead in those productions. Josh has worked his way up through all of the levels of theater, showing mastery in all subjects that he tackles. He cares greatly about each stage of production and does his best to make sure that each goes smoothly. This year, Josh was a lead narrator in the complete works of William Shakespeare Abridged and played Gomez in The Adams Family. Through each part of the process, he worked to make sure that he and his castmates were successful. Josh cares about those around him. He often goes out of his way to help someone new or make someone feel welcome or included. I am so incredibly proud of how Josh how far Josh has come as a performer. Seeing him perform Gomez with such confidence made me think about the first time I saw him at callbacks. Josh got up on stage and couldn't even get some lines out. The stage fright completely consumed him. Seeing the young man and performer he has grown into makes me immensely proud. Being a gifted, desi gifted designer as well, Josh has been rated superior for costume design at New Jersey Th Thespian Festival for several years now. This year, being the highest ranked costume designer in the state, he was awarded the New Jersey, New Jersey Governor's Award in the Arts for Costume Design. Josh will be taking his talents to the next level in the fall when he attends Rowan University for theater technology and design. Thank you, Josh, for all you have done for the theater department at Northern Burlington. You will be greatly missed. Joining me now to represent the Video Production Scholars Award is Mr. Matt Pona. It is with great pride and pleasure that I present the 2021 Video Production Senior Award to Ashley Walsh. For the past four years, Ashley has been an invaluable part of the Northern TV and video production programs. Having her around to reliably depend on to be available, punctual, responsible, and creative has been a blessing for us as teachers and producers. She's demonstrated advanced talent in directing live productions, shooting, editing, and most importantly, as the face of Northern News. Amidst all of the pandemic chaos and confusion, she was a reliable and dedicated member of the team, and we will miss her greatly. Ashley has earned the rare distinction of receiving one of our Greyhound Choice Awards each of her high school years. This year, she caps it off with the coveted Senior Award. For these occasions, I typically acquiesce to my sardonic tendencies and write a humorous, joking speech that will amuse her and briefly touch upon her strengths while celebrating her uncanny ability to embarrass herself in any situation, so we can both avoid having to confront any potential for an emotional response. The reason for that being that we are, in many ways, very similar. While Ashley puts forth a strong front to keep the harshness of the world at bay, she is one of the most genuinely caring people I've ever met. Her empathy for others knows no bounds, and we've had myriad conversations about her concerns for others struggling in their own lives. That's not to say she hasn't faced her share of personal struggles on her own, but she handles them with grace and bravery that you don't often see from teenagers. She's an excellent combination of smart, funny, creative, honest, and trustworthy. Ashley's not pursuing a career in production, and that's okay. I have no doubt that regardless of what career she pursues, she'll be great as a professional, but more importantly, as a person. To Ashley, I say this, always stay who you are, stay honest, be true to yourself. Don't let the world grind you down. Keep your heart and always keep caring hard about everyone around you. And yes, one last thing, you are my favorite. 